we will continue with base multiplications as they are used in Vedic math. This is video number four. It's a part three of three. I split the video in three parts. This is the last part. In this video, we will discuss multiplication by a sequence of nines and also we will discuss a multiplication of two operands which are close to two different base numbers. Okay. Let's continue. We are next section here. The next section is multiplied by sequence of nines. Okay. Consider multiplication by sequence of nine. We would let's take example here. Example is three four seven times nine nine nine. Multiplier has all nines. It's sequence of nine. Okay. So we write down two numbers and for base number multiplications. Now we go to find a base. Base is one thousand. Nine one thousand is close to nine nine nine, and that's what we would use for a base. Okay. Let's continue. Uh, so now we need to compute deviations. Okay. First deviation. Deviation one is three four seven minus one thousand equals minus six five three. You can compute six five three by using all from nine and last from ten of three forty seven. Okay, let's go continue. That's nine nine nine. Deviation two is minus zero zero one. Which same thing you can do a all from nine and last from ten to compute zero zero one and minus sign because it's a we're doing subtraction of larger number from the smaller number. Okay, let's continue. Now we're going to do. Uh, a left compute left which is cross applied deviation so we do 347 minus 001 what do we do apply the operation minus on the operands 347 and 001 to do 347 minus 001 which is 346 now we go to on the right on the right we get to multiply vertically the deviations okay so right multiply vertically which is minus 653 times minus Zero zero one, which is six five three. Okay. All right. So the answer is three. Four. Okay. Base is one thousand. One thousand has three zeros. Right has three digits. All positive. And answer is three four six six five three. Okay. Continue. Answer is three four six six five three. Left part of the answer and right part of the answer. Okay. Let's continue. Let's do observation. Left part is three forty six. Right part is six fifty three. Okay, let's do this part 346 and 353. Okay, so left part plus right part. Let's add them together. 346 plus 653 is 999. 346 left and right are nines complement of each other. So 346 plus 653 is 999. Let's continue further. Now first operand which is 347 plus the right part. 653 is 347 plus 653 is 1000. That means the 653 is odd from 9 and last from 10 of 347. Okay, let's continue. So left part is first operand minus 1. So that was it. Left operand is 346 and first operand was 347. So left uh, uh, part of the answer is first operand minus 1. Investigate further. Example was 347 times 999. Okay. By addition and subtractions, we can do 999 is 999 plus 1 minus 1, which is 1000 minus 1. Okay. Let's continue. So it is 347 times 1000 minus 1, okay. and it, which is equal to 347000 minus 347, which is we would do all from 9, last from 10 of 347, is 653. We'll do one less than the 4 of 347. So it's a 346, 653. Okay. This is by Sutra. Again, 1000 uh, minus 1 is 1000 plus negative 1, which is 1001 and negative 1. Okay. All right. Expression becomes 347 times 100 and 1 negative. Okay. All right. That's, that's 3. So 347 positive and 347 negative, which is again 346653. All from 9 and last from 10 of 347653 and one less than before of 347, which is 346. Okay. Now, let's investigate rules. We're just going to look at the case we just studied. Number of digits in multiplicand is equal to number of nines in multiplier. So we had a three digits in the multiplicand and three in multiplier. Okay, for that case, 
left part is one less than before of the multiplicand okay? and right part is all from nine and less from ten of multiplicand okay computing decreasing number required such multiplications okay so its uh, application is in uh, in recurring numbers computation and maybe in astronomy also okay? so example okay, for recurring numbers we say one over seven and uh, if uh, multiply by 143 in the numerator and denominator, so we become 1 times 143 divided by 7 times 143. Then further multiply by 999 on the numerator and by new denominator. So that's what we got. So we, in the numerator, we had to do 143 times 999. Okay? In the denominator, we get to do something a lot easier. Okay? Okay. So in numerator, we have 143 times 999, which is a uh, on left part it is one less than before of 143 so 142 on the right it's a all from 9 and last from 10 of 143 which is 857 so we just got on the numerator of 1 over 7 after 143 times 999 is 142857 in the denominator we have 7 times 143 which is 1001 times 999 and which is sequence of all nines okay so we have a new 1 over 7 is numerator of 6 digits divided by a sequence of 6 nines, okay, which is a re fractional re representation of a recurring number. So recurring number equivalent of 1 over 7 is 0 0.142857 recurring. Okay, let's continue. So 1 over 7 is 0 0.142857 recurring. Okay, let's continue. We got a multiplier 143 from a sub sutra. It also comes from 7 is a factor of 1001, and we can get a sequence of 9s from 1001 because we got a had a 1001 means 1 sandwiching a number of zeros. A form of this type 1 sandwiching a number of zeros, I can get a sequence of 9 by multiplying by sequence of 9s. And number of nines in a sequence is one more than number of zeros. Okay, so let's continue. We'll do a case number two. Number of digits multiplicand is less than number of nines in the multiplier. So sequence of nine is longer. Okay, let's continue. Take example. In this case, prepend multiplicand by adding zeros to the left. Okay, so we'll make them equal. So in We'll use that in 1 over 13. So if you're trying to recurring numbers for 1 over 13, uh, steps are we multiply both the numerator and denominator by 77 first, so 77. Then we multiply both the numerator and denominator by 999, 999. So in the numerator, we have 77 times 999, which we change that to 077999. In the denominator, so we have a numerator is 076923, one less than before on the left, and all from 9 and last from 10 on the right. Okay. Let's see, in denominator, it's 1001 times 999 is sequence of 6 nines. Okay. So 1 over 13 recurring number is for equivalent is 0 0.076923. Six digits divided by a sequence of six nines is a fractional equivalent of a recurring number, and recurring number is 0 0.076923. Continue. Another case here, which case three, number of digits in multiplicand is more than number of nines in multiplier. So sequence of nine has a smaller length. Okay, let's look at example. Four, six, eight, nine times nine, nine, nine. Four digits multiplied by sequence of three nines. Okay, let's do that using base numbers. So use a base of first we select a base number which is one thousand. We select it from nine nine nine. Okay, so it's one thousand is close to nine nine nine. Okay, let's continue. So our division one is plus three six eight nine, which is four six eight nine minus one thousand is plus three six eight nine. Division two is minus zero zero one. Which is 999 minus 1000 is minus 001. The 
1000 has three zeros and I will try to keep three digits in the deviation. Okay, I know there are four here on the first deviation. So, but here when I could use a fewer digits, uh, I am trying to use three. Okay. Let's continue. So, first we do a cross apply the deviation uh, and to get left, which is 4689, first operand and second deviation. And we are going to use the operation of minus. Okay. So, it's a 4689 minus 0010 0, and that's 4688. So, so on the right, so uh, on the left we have 4688 so far. Okay, let's continue. Do the right vertically multiply the deviation. So it's a 3689 and minus 0, 0001 and that become a minus 3689. There are two issues with this thing on the right part. First, there are four digits here. I only need three. Uh, because 1000 has three zeros, that's a base. And other issue is it is negative and I use a positive number on the right. So let's resolve those issues here. So if I, it was minus 3689, if I add 10,000 to it and subtract 10,000, I get an, uh, negative 10,000 and 6,311. So it's negative one, 6,311. Right, uh, last three digits are positive. We'll keep them on the right, and the the left two digits, one negative, one positive, will move to, uh, use as a carry to the left. Okay, let's uh, after the carry, we have four six eight eight plus one negative six. Six plus eight, four six eight eight is four six nine four, and then subtract ten because the negative ten here become four six eight four. After the carry, left become 4684, and the right is 311, and answer is 4684311. Okay. Uh, let's continue. So, answer is 4684, 4684 from left, and 311 from right, 4684311. Okay, let's continue. And also, you could do that 4689 times 1000 minus 1. Okay, 999 is 1000 minus 1, which become 4689000 minus 4689, which is 4684311. Okay, when number of digits in the multiplicand is more than sequence of dig, uh, 9 digits in, when multiplicand is longer than the sequence of 9s, this is probably your best bet. Okay, that uh, you convert that nines into a base number minus one and do this multiplication. Okay. And you can go ahead and do that to use the base multiplication, but this probably is your easiest thing. Okay. Problem here. Let's try 37607 times a sequence of five nines. 87079, sequence of four nines, 52195 times sequence of six nines, and some more. Let's continue with next section here. Next section is the different base numbers. We would have a uh, multiplicand and multipliers are close to a base number, but the two numbers are base numbers are different. Okay, let's continue. Near a different base number, let's see what's doing here. So, example we do is current in 9998 uh, times 105. 105 is close to base 100, and 9998 is close to base of 10,000. Okay, the two different base numbers, let's see what we do here. We will use by multiplication and by doing. First, multiply 105 by 100 and then divide the product by 100. So, we we would change the problem to, to 100 times the problem and then divide in the end the product we got by 100. Okay. okay, let's see. Question, can we do without multiplication and division? Okay, yes, we can. Okay, let's see what we can do. In that case, tread carefully and don't step over the hidden zeros on the right. Okay, let's see what I mean by that. Okay, in computing deviations, align deviation to the left. So when the smaller base like here, and so it's a zero five is the deviation from plus zero five from one hundred. You align that to the left. Okay, let's continue. 
in cross applying deviation okay when we cross apply plus 0 5 to 9998 you as if there were zeros on the right so we're going to add 0 5 to 99 here okay? to zeros on treat as if there are zeros on the right okay finally you can drop your guard and multiply vertically without worrying about the position okay number of digits on the right is number of zeros in the small base number okay? so because of this manipulation here that uh, uh, because we didn't have zeros, real zeros to the right of plus 5 and we multiplied without the extra zeros so we number we have a fewer digits on the right number of digits on the right is equal to number of zeros in this smaller base number okay let's continue with our method we just uh, and you can refer to teachers manual for examples of this method teachers manual uses this method okay and the with the operations here it's nine 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 eight times one zero five okay so first we change the problem to nine 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 eight times one zero five zero zero which is we have multiplied by 100 and base for both of these operands are is one ten thousand okay let's continue deviation one is nine 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 eight minus ten thousand which is two minus two and we had three zeros we're trying to get 10,000 has a four zeros and we're trying to keep the deviations to four digits, okay? Deviation two is zero five hundred same way four digits one zero five zero zero minus one ten thousand is zero five hundred Okay, let's continue cross applied for the left one zero five zero zero, which is the and We say minus two Okay, so we're trying to do a second operand and first deviation and operation is minus 10500 minus 002 which is 10498 let's continue to the right part right part is multiply vertically on the right and the two deviations are minus 002 and 0500 which when you multiply together is minus 1000 we have four digits on the right and is negative okay let's continue here so if we add and subtract 10,000 which is 10,000 added and 10,000 subtracted, we got in a one bar and 9,000. So 10,000 is negative and 9,000 is positive. Okay. So let's continue here. So we we can keep four digits on the right. So this fifth digit, leftmost digit, which is negative one, we would carry to the left. So left become 10498 minus one, which is 10497. Okay. The answer product so far is left. Uh, and right left on the part on left and right part on right so which is one zero four nine seven this is left here and right was uh, nine thousand here okay so nine thousand now we go divide by hundred to get nine 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 eight times one zero five which is these two zeros would disappear in in the region so become one zero one zero four nine seven and ninety one zero four nine seven and nine zero okay let's continue here there's some references here and our teacher's manual is my main reference. Tirthaji uses this method in chapter 1 and uh, Glover's book, Vandana's book and Bhatia's book, they all have sections on base multiplications. Okay. 